Brooklyn based rapper Casanova surrendered himself to authorities after he was named in a sweeping indictment of the untou untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation gang earlier in the week. Now, the, when the feds put together a case, they basically already got your ass. You feel me? They basically already got you. You can't run from it. You can't dodge it. You damn near can't even get, like, the best lawyer system unless somebody else going to basically, um, it just depends on your situation. Because some, because in, in this situation, this is basically like a racketeering case, you feel me, which means um, it's basically gang related. Now, this basically was, cre this law or this motion was created, obviously, by the feds and the whole system to basically bring down gang members and basically stopping all types of illegal activity and this basically was created back in the day you feel me um back when like mobsters and stuff i don't know when exactly but i know the history upon this whole entire charge now apparently the the like he don't necessarily have to be casanova obviously that's, that's who we're talking about he don't have to necessarily be out there doing gang related stuff like actually doing murder or actually selling whatever they allegedly said that the whole gang was doing right and obviously it seems like at one point he basically claimed the gang gorilla stone whatever the name was um so since he's since he basically said it or claimed that he was a part of it or somewhere so along the way somebody that was a part of it was in some sort of video or had some sort of connection to him that puts him at risk of basically being charged with a super huge sentence, uh, which is basically normally these charges are like 10 years plus. You feel me? Um, this is basically the same type of charges 6 9 was basically facing. I don't know. I don't I can't remember how many years he was facing. I think it was like 39 or something like that. 6 9 was facing some crazy numbers, but then he played out. Now, they have a video that's going viral now. Uh, I actually forgot to get it. I don't think I'll put it in. But if I do, I'll try and put it in somewhere in here. It's basically Casanova was speaking on 6 9 situation. Um, basically, he said it's easy to come home from the feds if you snitch and plead out to all of your um, charges, basically. If you basically snitch on every single um, charge that they got coming your way, you can go freely. You can tell that you go. You feel me? Um, now, this is very interesting because it's like, because in that interview, he basically said, like, if you're a millionaire and you get these charges, anybody will snitch. Do I think he's going to snitch? Hell no. He's not snitching. You feel me? I don't think he's going to snitch. If he do snitch, it's going to be surprising to me because... Of his image, and it's crazy because he I obviously have to think about his kids, cause like I don't know I know he got kids. I, I mean I think he got kids. I I believe he got kids, man. I believe he got kids. I know he has a wife. Just imagine if he get ten years. Just think about like I don't think what like woman would want to go through ten years without having you know what I'm saying a significant other next door you know not only that just like missing out on family members traditions birthday like it's so much stuff that could really pretty much cause a lot of like suicidal thoughts just crazy stuff because 10 years i mean he's been he's been doing time already you know what i mean like he ain't new to jail but like at the same time he's like 35 34 another 10 years you'll be 40 something almost 50 like that's an important part of your career an important part like that's that's literally the supposed, that's, I would call that, like, literally the end. He's going to miss out literally on his prom career and the setting up for retirement part of his career. You feel me? Um, I really just recently finished watching uh, my first ever, ever episode of Expeditiously by T.I. And it was interesting. That's why I couldn't stop watching it. And I'm basically saying this because I feel like T.I., created something with expeditiously like he went viral with the whole name and stuff and he literally came out with the podcast and named it that reason why i'm connecting it to him is because i felt like ti obviously got older in his 
what I'm saying, his life, and he's moved on to a certain, I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's still stupid rich, right? Because he's very intellectual and he's very smart, and it seems like, obviously, he still has a lot of money in his account, right? But I'm saying is, Casanova could potentially miss out, because a lot of people definitely would say, like, who is Casanova? You know what I'm saying? He still was building his foundation of his career. And he's going to miss out on that with these interruptions. Crazy. Interesting. But hopefully um, he he get like, I don't know. I don't know even know what to say with this. I was going to say like hopefully he get like less time. Because they have a 97. The feds have a 97 conviction rate. 97% conviction rate. Which means is. They basically already got them because they basically build up cases for like five, 10 years plus. You feel me? And they basically could have been on him the last time he went to jail. You feel me? And him not knowing it. Like they literally could have just been on him. Like we finna rack up all of this. Racketeering charges are nothing to play with. Bro. Like, all right, yes, the feds is nothing to play with. But racketeering, like I'm probably not even saying it right, but. Those charges are not, not, like, people get, like, 50, 60 years off of them. Like, chill. You feel me? Chill.